Hey guys, um, just a little video I'm doing. Um, anyway, uh, in my last video I said I was hoping the package um, with my joysticks in it would be showing up soon. I said it was two weeks, but it has only been a week. I forgot when I ordered it. But anyway, um, yeah, but half an hour after I said that on the last video, I was in, in our house inside eating lunch and um, looked down the driveway and the FedEx van was coming up and to drop off the package I've been waiting for. Um, so yeah, there it is, has, hopefully should have two hydraulic joysticks in it, um, kind of like a loader valve type thing, but um, you're going to have, there, two of them are going to be mounted on each, or one of them is going to be mounted on each side of the chair. So, um, yeah. Alright, um, just a little unboxing video. I've seen lots on YouTube. Um, so I thought I would do one myself, just so I say I could. But anyway, here we go. First time, um, first unboxing video, so we'll see how it turns out. Alright. Um... And I don't think they put enough tape on it. <laughs> It'd be faster if I had an exacto knife, but I can't find my good one. Only find a pair of scissors. Looks like there'll be two unboxing videos. There's one box inside another. Good insurance that nothing's going to be missing. I guess it probably, probably falls out most of the time. Alright, here we go. Actually, there might be three. I think there's one box, another box, and then two other boxes. Right. There's one box. It's nice that they put the plastic on it, just so if it does somehow get wet, it doesn't. The box, outside box, gets wet. In Inside one doesn't. I think they're about 16 pounds each, so about 36 pounds. I live all the way down in, um, or I live in uh, Canada, BC, in the Surrey area, and um, these shipped all the way from Knoxville, Texas. Um, only took f about five or six business days, which I'm really surprised at how little time it took. All right, sorry, I'll try this again. Um, my mom walked in to get the mower, so I kind of, I had to stop and get get it for her and everything. But anyway, let's continue. Uh, yeah, we got, it had the main box, with, and then this box was inside that box with some plastic around it. And you got two more boxes inside of that box. Got a whole bunch of paper jammed inside. Here's one. I guess they must have the handles taken off because they're shorter than I thought they would be. But anyway. Well, that's cool. Just for a little extra shock protection, they have um, kind of like 
cardboard style bubble wrap. Never actually seen that before. It's kind of a honeycomb. So I guess when it impacts, it crushes. Pretty cool. Anyway, on with the show. Get to the interesting part. Alright. Here's the first one open. So let me see if I. Oh, yeah, you can see it. This didn't want to cut it all the way open and have nothing in the view of the camera. Um, bit oily. That's good, that's grease. Whoa, big. Really big. Alright. Here we go. Just let me throw the plugs back in so it doesn't not in the right size plugs. This should be fun to plumb. Oh, that's pretty simple with two cylinders here. Yeah. Simple enough. Alright. Get the other one in the box and take a look at it. Don't lose that nut. They're actually bigger than I thought, so... Luckily I didn't make any of the mounting brackets yet or anything for the... for them. And the reason why is because I didn't know quite how big they are because it's... Looking at them in a picture on a computer screen is a bit deep seating. And another thing I had no... it didn't tell you where the bolt holes would be... where... Which I would find a bit nice because... For people that did buy them for a loader valve to operate the loader or anything else, um, be nice for them because then they'd know if it, if the bolt holes were the same. So that when they get them, they either don't have to send them back or they don't have to make it adapt uh, adapt it to their tractor. There's that handle. This one. Go. Cool. Um, like I said, I'm going. I don't know if I said it or before or not, but I'm going to get like either carve them out of wood or something, or get a trunk of plastic and make them. But um, get some like nice handles that'll fit on here. I'll thread this and then I can screw it on. Just bolt the handle on so it's a bit nicer to. Uh, well, that might not be bad. We'll see. Let's get these on. These nuts are just to put pressure up against the thread so they don't unscrew. Them. Oh, that shouldn't be too hard to use. So yeah, there's the one. Might as well screw the handle onto the other one. It'd be nice if they put some kind of decreaser on them so they're not all slippery when you get them. I guess it's probably just from them when they test them, wherever they're made. Um, probably China, I imagine they're probably made, like everything else. Um, but um, I guess the oil from inside leaks out. 
Yeah. Um, fairly certain there's a release on these. Um, so, and strangely, that didn't come with um, a diagram, so you can see how the plumbing works and everything. And everything so. All right, I think that's about it. Um, unboxed them. That's pretty much it, I guess. All right. Um, yeah, I'll show you once I get them mounted and stuff like that. All right. Thanks for watching.